Okay, I'm just uh, laying out some wireframes here, just uh, getting a general idea of the layout, and now I'm making the style tile, which will have all the typography, all the input forms, what essentially the elements of uh, the website will look like. Here I'm making the input forms and the uh, submit button with some placeholders defining all of the text styles so I can use them easily later. Now I'm setting up the header, just real quick and dirty. Um, now I'm kind of roughing out the margins and then the hero section and the top three benefits of getting a free website review. Some lorem ipsum, actually hipster ipsum. Um, kind of adding more hipsum. It's hipsum.co to get your free hipster ipsum. Now I'm doing the um, footer. Tried to look for a good stock image to use, but I really couldn't find anything that pertains to free website reviews. So now I am just kind of adding some more stuff, figuring out my colors. Red always works um, because it's nice and strong and vibrant and it's good for call to actions, which I have at the top and bottom of the website, looking for subtle patterns and all that, going through random stuff. <clears throat> Adding a Twitter SVG icon. And check to sign up to my newsletter. So now I'm coding up the front end of the site, um, which is what I do. I do front end development and design. So it's doing some basic HTML now. This is the easiest part of development. Just You're literally just coding what you see and then um, coding it up the CSS. So I actually use SAS and then that compiles in CodeKit and gives me the final CSS file. Uh, I love using SAS because it literally lightning fast. Um, it sped up my workflow so much and then um, I love using colors as variables so the red will be a certain shade of red that I use and then I can change that certain shade of red and it'll be changed throughout the website which is cool. So yeah, um, yeah just coding it up, adding uh, some placeholder videos. That's actually a video I did for a client last year. <clears throat> and coding up the Twitter, making it responsive and done. And here is a uh, kind of real time scroll through of the website. It's not live yet. It's still on CodeKit on my machine. So yeah, it's responsive. And uh, I actually still need to code the drop down for when you click the hamburger icon. Besides that, everything works. and. Uh, all I need to do now is up, fix the responsive menu and upload to the server. And that's it. Oh, and center the footer um, links on the responsive screen on the mobile width. And yeah, besides that, there's not much more. Um, yeah, the Twitter link goes to, I, I go to clicktotweet.com and it, it sets up a link for you, which is kind of cool. Thanks.